in this here make me tough to you snack cake to me yeah more house more house this been overdue forever forever ask me when it was dropping said never never should have made you cut the feather but i designed it freemason margella what's good he shall try here the most woke no joking i'm <laughs> Got again with a brand new video. I'm gonna keep it up, Bowberry Biscuit Man. Before we get to this news, and there's quite a bit of news to get into today, and I think you already know what it is, and there's a lot of excitement behind it. I just want to start off this video by saying rest in peace to Mac Miller, man. He was 26 and he died yesterday. He was one of my favorite artists. So prayers for him and his family, man. But let's go ahead and get to this Panthers news. On Thursday, about four days before the first game of the season, Steve Smith, in a surprise move to I think everyone, honestly, went to the Carolina Panthers practice. And honestly, that was actually a really moving moment for a lot of people there, I feel like. Because when Steve Smith left, it was really like an end of an era. It was really like an end of an era when we saw Steve Smith leave the team. And we all know and understand why he left the team and why he had to go. You want to be on the side of your young number one overall pick quarterback who's going to be the face of the franchise. And it, it, it was a hard decision. I think it really was a hard decision for the, for the franchise because Steve Smith really was the face, really was the biggest name in Panthers franchise history. And to let him go was a big hit to the squad. And let's be honest, Steve wasn't all that happy when he left. He said a few things in the media, and we understand that's how you're gonna feel when that thing kinda happens. So I never blame Steve Smith for any of that, for, for how he felt and how he responded. Uh, I never felt any kind of way, any kind of negative way about that. And he definitely played a big, you no, know, huge role in that Super Bowl year. And that year, let's look at his stats real quick, man. 88 catches, 1,110 yards, seven touchdowns, this dude did it all. I mean, 42 yards on the ground, but Steve Smith did just about everything. He was a heart and soul of this team. Definitely a GOAT player. It's gonna be kind of hard for him to get in the Hall of Fame because you know the Hall of Fame likes to do their uh, their wide receivers, man. It's, it's something serious. I don't know what it is about wide receivers, but the Hall of Fame doesn't like really good, great wide receivers, even if they're like in the top, like top three kind of guys. So it's kind of hard, but I think he deserves a spot in Canton. He might get there one day. It'll be hard to get there on the first few bids, though. I'll be real with you. But Steve Smith definitely had a huge, important impact on this team. Really cool to see him hanging out with Cam. You know, him talking and smiling together. Picture here of him talking with Ron Rivera. This man is built still. This man, I don't know how old Steve Smith is, but he's still built. If he's 5'9", this man is, he's not stocky. He's, he's built all around. Talking with Luke, they look at Luke's face. And then one more picture here of him looking at DJ Moore like, hey, this this man, this man might be the future. If you remember on the day of the draft, Steve Smith said that the Panthers finally found a replacement for him in DJ Moore, which is crazy for Steve Smith to ever even admit. That was when I first realized, that's when I first thought, you know, maybe Steve Smith may be coming around back to like on the Panthers side of things, you know, and then he called DJ Moore his spirit animal and that's when I knew 100%. But when he came to practice and I saw this picture of him looking at, at DJ Moore, like, like a young protege, I thought to myself, man, this is actually a magical moment. Seeing these two eras, of the Panthers franchise come together. It's not like two separate eras anymore where it was like the time where Steve Smith played for the Panthers and the time where Steve Smith doesn't. It's like the two kind of melded and molded together. And it's like one single era now where I think we finally had a, this is a bit of a closure kind of moment for us. I think we had a little bit of closure here in this era. And speaking of closure and speaking of, uh, of eras, uh, I think you guys know the news that just came out about the Panthers logo now being 100% on the field here. It was just painted, I think, last night. I think it was painted just last night on Friday, I believe. And look, I, I, I can't I can't lie to you. I'm extremely excited. This is actually really big, great news. Uh, this is this is actually the best form of a, of a way to of a move forward to a new era. The midfield logo changing from the NFL shield to the actual Panthers logo is actually the, probably one of the biggest and best ways that the new owner David Tepper could show his love for the fans, for the city, shows appreciation to the whole fan base. Because honestly, it's been a long time, man. And we understand Jerry Richardson was so appreciative of the of the NFL for giving him an expansion team. And I think we all can appreciate that, why he had the, the NFL shield there. I never hated the reason why he had it there. I would have always love to have the, uh, the the Panther there but I understood and could appreciate why the NFL shield was there but I'm glad that we have a new era here and whereas the Steve Smith thing was a melding of two eras and whereas the Steve Smith thing became a molding of two eras 
This is a hard switch. I think fans for a long time, over 20, 25 years, We've been waiting on this, man, and it's, it's become a, a, a big deal here. I know that Madden had an update and put the Panthers logo on the midfield maybe two weeks ago or something like that, but this is, I, I really can't explain it. it. It really is hard to explain, because at first glance, you know, someone from a different fan base would be like, you know, it's just them going from the NFL Shield to the, the Panther. What's the big deal? But I feel like this is so much more than that. It's, it really is so much more than just the, a, a picture on, on the middle of the field. It represents so much more. It represents so many fans who have been waiting on this for so long and a, and a change of culture and honestly, maybe even a, a, a new era. Like it's like, you know like when a big part or like an important member of a team or like any organization leaves that organization, it's like the end of an era. And like, it's like, oh man, this guy, this guy is, is gone. It's like, it, it, all these things are gonna change now. All these things are gonna be so much different. But for with this, with David Tepper, it doesn't feel like an end of an era. All these things feel like new beginnings. Steve Smith coming back feels like a new beginning. Uh, these new uh, jersey combinations are like new beginnings. This logo on the midfield feels like a new beginning. It doesn't feel like the end of Jerry Richardson, which it obviously is, but it really feels more like the beginning of something new, the beginning of, of a new culture, the, the beginning of something much deeper and something much more important and impactful for not just the city of Charlotte, not just the state of North Carolina, not just the team of the Carolina Panthers, but like both states of North Carolina and South Carolina, the whole, you know, uh, two states, one team kind of thing. Look, I, I, it's, it's so hard to explain for someone who's not like part of the fan base or whatever, but this midfield logo represents so much more than just a football team getting their logo on their, on their field for the first time in their franchise history. This is actually almost like a, it feels like a new beginning to something much much bigger but it also represents just how much David Tepper is willing to listen and appreciate just what the fan base and other people who are around him are letting him know and he can like just tell what the temperature is with the fan base and whatnot and I think this is going to have a really positive impact on just so many things in the area with the team and even with his other ventures. I think this this is a really good move as a brand new owner of a team who has even bigger plans, not just for the team, but for the city and for professional sports as a whole. I won't get into all that with the MLS stuff and all that kind of stuff, but I think this is a huge, huge move with the smallest of gestures. I mean, I'm sure this doesn't cost any more than, you know, putting the NFL shield up there. I'm sure that the, the cost isn't different. It's, like, it's not like he's like, paying a, a huge a huge fine to put the Panthers logo there maybe he is I, maybe I, maybe I'm wrong but this is just like a great but this is just a great gesture to everyone who's been a fan of the Panthers and even the new fans of the Panthers who are gonna see maybe this might be the first time seeing the Panthers play and all they'll know from watching this season on is seeing Panthers logo and that's amazing it's honestly such a simple simple thing that has such a great impact and that's what really makes a great gift it doesn't have to be some expensive grandiose gesture and like flaunting of money or power or influence something like this something that shows you care and something that shows you're listening and that you're willing and able to enact a little bit of change it's a small amount that has a big impact on people around you those are the kind of things that that make a good person or make a, a, a person someone worthy of making positive change and positive impact in a community. I don't want to get too deep in it. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, man. Maybe maybe it isn't all that deep, but that's how it feels to me. How do you guys feel? What does this midfield logo mean to you? Does it impact you in any way? Does it really matter whether we have the shield there or the logo? Is it just a picture? I mean, are you just happy it's a, it's a panther now and that's all it is to you? Like it's just having a panther on the midfield and that's, and, it, and it's cool. It's, a good, it's better to look at than the, than the shield. Let me know, because I think it feels like something deeper than that, man. I don't, I don't know what it is exactly. I can't really explain it, but it feels like something a little bit deeper than that. This has been like a long time coming. Anyway, man, let me know your thoughts on the logo, on Steve Smith coming back, that whole reunion, man. Let me know all that in the comments below. And you already know to do with that like button. Appreciate the chance.
Been told y'all I been the man. Been told y'all I had the gift. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Real ones gonna recommend. Count this as another win.